Hi, good morning. I'm Dr. Jonathan Dona. We're here at Joint Effort Chiropractic in White Plains, New York. I'm here with my new patient, Tony. Uh, Tony, this is his first time. Uh, I just examined him, uh, took a full history. His wife is actually a patient of mine, so uh, we've met before, but uh, this is the first time I'm treating him. So I'm going to let Tony explain what he's suffering with, and then I'm going to treat him, and hopefully we're going to make a big difference, and you'll see that right right here in front of us. Yeah, so um, I work on computers all day, every day, have for years, so I, you know, a lot of um, bent over kind of movement, and I have pain in the mid chest and in the mid back. Um, I also do some choral singing on the side and I can't get a full breath of air into the lower lungs, like expand my ribs. So when I try to get a full breath, I just get like a tightness and some pain that really stops it from happening. And then I also have some pain uh, kind of at the base of my neck, um, some tightness there, there as well. Um, yeah, and it just, it's just kind of been continuous. Yeah. Okay, and also, you know, because he's a programmer, he's at a computer for who knows how many, probably 10 hours a day, maybe more, uh, for, for, de for a long time, he said. Um, so this is a common thing, especially in the middle of the pandemic, people are spending more time on their tablets, more time on their laptops in bad position. You know, I, I told ergonomically, it's very important to have the uh, middle of your computer monitor at your eye level. That's very important. Also, a lot of times people have computers to the side and they're like, you know, they're touch, touch dead like that. That's not good for the neck either. Just some quick tips. Another thing we didn't even discuss, but now it's good to kind of tell all of you, um, another very, very common issue is texting, right? So I'll walk into the waiting room and my patients are like this. And they're like, oh, I wonder why they have a problem, mm -hmm. you know? And so a quick little tip is to, you know, kind of, you want to hold your phone at least to here, but preferably here, okay? And you see what I'm doing? I'm tucking my elbows into my body. So I'm like creating like a fulcrum here and like a little stand, right? If you're here, no good. That puts actually pressure on your neck. But if you just kind of like put your elbows into your body like that and you look at your phone that way, you might think it looks ridiculous at first, but no one's gonna notice, I'm telling you. It looks more ridiculous when you're like this, okay? So that's another little tip as before we start. So um, I, I can see in my exam with Tony that he's got a couple of joints in his neck stuck, he's got a couple of joints in his back stuck, even his ribs. Um, you know, the ribs attach to the sternum, and so that'll that'll um, show up just like it is right now. He'll have pain on inhalation, um, it's, I definitely know I can help him. You know, we'll see how much one treatment helps in front of me. It'll be no pressure, right? But, um, <laughs> but I, but I think it'll be, it'll be a, you know, kind of a good thing. So I'm gonna do a kind of. If you've watched any of my videos before, I think it's perfect. Oh, what I'm gonna start is, a, is kind of how I start a lot of treatments, kind of loosening up these certain muscles in the back, the rhomboids, the serratus posterior, the levator scapula. Um, I think that's gonna help a lot. Um, and then I'm gonna adjust the, the segments that need to be adjusted. Okay, so here we go. You know, what I want from you is the feedback. I can't see your eyes, so I can't kind of tell if I'm causing you pain. And I don't mind like a good hurt, I just don't want to hurt hurt, okay? okay? So let's bring your head back, just a drop, and then head down, all the way down, 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 down. Good, and back up, all the way back. And down. A bit more, force it down a little bit more, good. And back to me, and down. And so this is called ART, active release technique. I'm kind of breaking up the adhesions of the muscles that I feel back up and down, all the way down, good. Now take that hand and reach that way, right hand, left knee, yeah. Real nice, back up and down. How's the uh, discomfort I'm causing? Good. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. good. Back up and down. Good, one more. Okay, same thing, other side, okay? Good. Head down more. Ooh. Okay, again. Great, back to neutral. Now I want you to kind of just facing this way, or you know, shoulders this way. You can take this hand up like this. I'm going to be in here in your rhomboids. You're going to bring it across your body. You're going to grab your elbow and you're going to pull all the way across your body. Okay. At the way end, your head's going to go down. Okay, I'll tell you what. Okay, okay. start there. I'm ready. Go ahead, pull across. Pull, 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 pull. Great, do that again. I'll tell you when to put the head down, okay? Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, go ahead, pull across. Pull, 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 pull. Head down. Very nice. Let's do that again. Okay, great, relax. Same thing, other side. Good. 
Up, cross, head down, super, again, head down. Let's do that one more time. Head down. Okay, how'd that feel? Good. Okay. All right, let's go to yeah. the neck. We're gonna, come, we're gonna come back to the upper back in a moment. Okay, let's go head here, face up. Um, also something, uh, maybe I'll point out, uh, okay, talk about your feet. Sure. Yeah. Tony also, I, I noticed in my exam that his feet are very pronated. I'll show you in a minute what that means, but they, they're very flat and his, they, they really turn in. Uh, and that puts a lot of pressure on the, uh, on the on, you know, it's a, called a closed kinetic chain. So when you walk, once you, know, once you take it, once you step down, what affects your heel, affects your ankle, affects your knee, affects your hip, affects your low back. It's a real, it's a chain. Um, so I'll show you, hopefully I'll remember before we finish, to show you what Tony's feet look like. And so what we do is we have a special scanner. It's got 4,096 sensors and we watch him walk at 300 frames per second. We send it to a lab and the lab takes all these thousands of points of data and we make a custom orthotic, which I think is going to make a massive difference. And, you know, as soon as I noticed that, he said, yeah, he has a tremendous amount of pain walking on concrete, you know, can't walk long distances. So I think that's going to make a big difference. So I've never adjusted uh, Tony. I'm not going to do it yet. Okay. So uh, have you ever been adjusted before by chiropractor? Uh, yes. Okay. So, um, so you know what that's like. I'm gonna just work on the muscles first, okay? okay. Now we're on the scalings, and now the upper traps. How are we doing? I'm feeling for different, um, we'll call them myofascial adhesions, but I'm looking for different tight areas in the muscle that feel abnormal to me. Um, they're not moving properly. I'm trying to break up the adhesions in them. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Get them to glide properly on the fibers one on top of the other. Most patients feel either good or good hurt. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely breaking some stuff up. It's not, uh, I'm not doing energy healing here. No pain, no gain. Okay, do some nerve flossing. Eh? Leave your head there for a second. You might feel it all the way through your arm for a moment. Okay. Frog socks. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> you got your Star Trek mask, and I got my Kermit the Frog socks. I think. We're doing good. Yeah. It's a good match. <laughs> love Sesame Street. Come on. <laughs> Who doesn't love Sesame Street? Okay. The young people watching are like, what Sesame Street? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to like bring your head down like against me. Yeah, but I want your whole, even your chin. I want you to, yeah, like that, okay? Relax, hold on, I gotta get my position for a second. Relax more. Okay, now we'll do it. Uh-huh. Push down against me more. Yeah, more, 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 I want to feel the push. Good, relax. Again. Good, you okay? Mm -hmm. Good. One more. No, 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 relax. Okay. More and more against me in the back, yeah. Okay, relax. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm going to adjust Tony's uh, neck now. Okay, and Tony, you know, you've been adjusted before, I'll remind you what it's going to feel like, okay? Mm -hmm. The crack you may feel in your neck is the same as a knuckle cracking, but because it's so close to your ear, you know, inside, it sounds a lot louder, okay? So I'm just going to calculate where I feel stuck and what you think. So the good news is nothing terrible, okay? Just move it. I just want you to relax as much as you can, Trout. Mm. How's that okay? Mm -hmm. Light bulb mm -hmm. back on for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so clear headed. Good. Okay, slide towards your, your feet now. I want to do something in your chest a little bit. So, because Tony's feeling a lot of uh, discomfort here, I'm going to just work through a little, so a little active releasing on his, on his pecs. Okay, so just kind of loosen things up here. Still popping? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. I should do my arms. Um, for now it's okay. You can let them like hands go down to the floor. Yeah, perfect. Feel it, okay? Mm. Starting to feel it? Starting to feel it. Yeah. I'm gonna come back. Right there? Not so much? Not so much. There, yeah, in that area. Yeah, okay. Okay, take a little bit of a breath. Let it all out. Okay, I don't know if you hear that, but it moved quite a bit. All the way up. I feel another spot here. Take a breath. Let it out. Okay, really nice. Oh, did you get a full breath of air? Did you get a full breath of air? Yeah. That's a good sign. I mean, it's too much, okay? Good. Okay, Tony, let's face the windows, please. I want to kind of go over how to get up properly. So again, this is really, really important, how to get up properly out of bed. Uh, I teach this to all my patients, and what we do is we take your top hand, okay? So you go on your side, whether you're on your stomach, you lie, you sleep on your stomach, your back, you go on your side, you, go to, you take your top hand on top, okay? And you're gonna push yourself up and slide onto your elbow. So, yeah, push to me, slide to here. Do that again, go down. Push up, get on your elbow. From there, when you bend the knee and swing the legs down, it gives you momentum and your hands are in the perfect position to let yourself up. So let your legs go down to the floor. See how that, mm. see who that is? Okay, mm -hmm. so we want to take the pressure off. We're going to do, how's that feel so far? Great. Yeah? Yeah, I can breathe. The pain is gone, actually. In the ribs, yeah. Almost always when we... When we adjust, when it's the ribs, okay, it's usually stuck in the back, but they attach to the front, and so that takes the pain away. So I'm glad to hear he's already having uh, less, uh, less, less discomfort from that. Yeah. Now we're gonna finish with the Y strap. I don't always address uh, a, a first time patient with the Y strap because it's kind of intense, but he did see me do it to his wife, and he knows what it's all about. And I think for him in particular, uh, he's got so much, he's just so, so compressed up here, that I think it's gonna help open up everything. So Tony, come sit here for me. Good, okay, but I want you to Trap your leg. Move down one inch this way. Yeah, just so when I pull you, you can trap yourself. Okay. Okay. It's going to be a lot of pressure. Okay. And all I want you to do is resist with your legs. Okay. Everything else, let go. Of. Okay. Take a couple deep breaths. I know it's very different than anything you've ever felt.
That's quite a thing. Yeah. Where did you feel the uh, the popping? In me and my neck. Okay. And but like between the neck and the upper back. Yeah. 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 Okay. Slide this way on the table. Mm -hmm. Yes. Your feet are back up. That's it. Yeah. Just keep your leg there. Take another couple of breaths. Oh yeah. I feel hollow. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but like there's a tension usually. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm empty inside. But it's a good feeling. Like that, 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 the thing that's holding you back, that's yeah. not that it's holding you back. Yeah, it's just, I feel, um, it's almost like the inside of my body felt like this, and now it feels like this. Okay. I like, I like the sound of that. Yeah. Let's get up properly again, facing okay. that way. Very nice, quick learner. Okay, come stand up, walk around a little bit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm taller, I think. I just it feels that way. Yeah. I feel straighter. Good. Um, it almost feels like uh, it's like when we're singing, what we're told to do is imagine like you're a puppet being hung from a string for proper posture, and I feel that's much more natural right now. Fantastic. Yeah. That's a, that's that's very cool. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. I'm gonna have to see. It. Okay, so anything else you'd like to share? That was awesome. The Y strap looks like I know when you see it on YouTube, it looks um, intense, but actually, it, it was really good. Good, was good, really good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. So, thank you for uh, getting a little window into our uh, first treatment. I like when you get to see when we treat a first time patient when they come and they they feel pain and we're able to provide a little relief. Um, I told Tony beforehand I was very very confident I can get rid of his pain. I don't know if it's going to take you know a few treatments or you know one treatment's going to do it all. Uh, but that's a you know ribs can be a tricky one. They can they can cause even a lot more pain than Tony. Tony was about a four out of ten. He wasn't in you know crazy discomfort. I'll have people come in with a rib um, joint stuck and they're like a ten out of ten. They've gone to the hospital. They've been put on morphine headshots and no one can figure out if you have pain on inhalation. When you take a deep breath, I mean, there's a lot of things it could be. Okay, there's, there's, there's other more serious things to be, but it, as long as it's not one of those more serious things, and uh, you know, it's very much posture related in the joints, and, and uh, you take it, and there's nothing going on with your lungs, um, and it hurts on, on inhalation. It's a very specific tender point either on your chest or your back. Sometimes all it is is a rib gets stuck, and when a, a chiropractor knows how to put that back in, it could be it could make a really large difference. So anyway, I'm glad you got the visit. Oh, let's just show your feet, your feet real quick. Oh sure. Okay. So, Should I take my shoes off? Or? No, I think actually it's almost more noticeable with the with the shoes. Pull your pull your jean leg up for a second. Sure. Okay. So you see how much his his leg drives this way, but his foot's there. So it's a lot of pronation, right? So again, here's here's normal. Let's say Tony's like this. So it's a lot of every step he's going to take is walking, boom, boom, and that puts a lot of stress on his knee. So uh, another on another visit, uh, maybe I'll show you guys what we do. We have you know with that scanner. And we'll make him a custom pair of orthotics, and that's going to make a very big difference in his life. So, anyway, thank you for joining us. Enjoy that for chiropractic. Have a wonderful day.